machine will come back. I figured I might as well roll the machine out to the bar because it's looking a bit more complete. Except, oh. So today I'm planning to get the bottom right corner done, that uh, cylinder part with the spiral drawn on the side and I noticed that first I was going to use a PVC tube but then I, like, everything else is steel might as well continue. So I'm just going to do the tube and then the out of the top and the bottom parts that are a bit wide I'll just make a separate section and just figure it out as I go. So. Okay, so that's the bottom part, top part, that's your center section. So what I'll do here is, because the, the curvature I guess is going to be quite mild for how um, wide this has to be. So what I'm going to do is I've marked these lines every 15 mils and I'm going to get a cutting disc and just cut them in this much so then when I curve it these bits will sort of coalesce and set up like a cone type shape I'm not quite sure exactly how far I couldn't be bothered counting it and working it out so I'm just gonna go with what I think Actually, surprisingly not bad. Cool, so I sort of got it close enough to where I want it to be. Hey, so here it is. Uh, I've got this bit relatively smooth, um, I just basically spotted all the gaps and then uh, soft disc it back and the top part I actually made a little kind of compartment separator type thing so from the inside it's now nice and flat this section built onto that and it's also spotted from the bottom here so yeah so this bit now is done I just gotta get work out how to bend that um the perspex. That'll be interesting. But we'll just have to go through YouTube and see what I can find. Um maybe use heat gun or something, I don't know, we'll find out. So the next thing I'm gonna make is a little picture frame type thing. So about four months ago the Borderlands channel actually commented on my one of my videos which just blew my mind. So I remember taking the screenshot and sending it to my wife when I saw it on the way to work so i figured i'll turn that into a one of those quality control type cards that you see like i don't know in elevators or whatever i just ordered them printed like from a photo shop whatever i just wanted to get like an actual uh photographic paper and, and all that and i'm gonna make like a small frame with a backlight probably some kind of perspex front and i'll place it on the inside Ugh. Probably, I'm thinking maybe like on the inner part here or somewhere around there where you can kind of see it, but it's not it, it it's not um, interfering with the overall design of the machine, so it still looks like that. But on the inside, when you can actually open the slide the side door or whatever, you can uh, easily see it. Okay, so this is my plan. Um, it'll be something like 10 mil by 10 mil. Uh, wide kind of box section type thing um, and I'm going to try and make this out of a single piece so this entire thing kind of folds like sort of origami like 
so that's sort of where I got to um, so the inner part is 40 by 70 and then each wall is 10 mil so in reality when I bend it I'm sure I'll be losing about a probably a mil on each bend which is okay as long as I'm sort of keeping that in mind and t taking that into account when I'm measuring okay so here we go so this um, this section here so the outer parts that is the outer side wall this section here so this part here that's the top section of the frame so you can kind of see from the I guess it's parallel to the wall and this bit here that's going to the inner walls and of course because I have to cut it here this way there will be a gap so I'll work out the best way to cover that up to sort of close it off so I might have to make little sort of triangle shapes on the inside and spot them in So that's um, that's been cut out. Actually, pretty stoked with how it came out. I um, hardly had to file anything really, so I've just cut these bits here. So now to bend it. Just realised if I bend these now, I will struggle to. I actually won't be able to do anything with this. So I should really bend it here first, bend the outer bits, and then do these by hand because I will not be restricted to doing the inner ones. Perfect. The dolly fits right in there. That's very lucky. Peep sacks. Got blood everywhere. This actually fits. It's just quite awkward to hold. Now what I found is that my bender, this is 10 mil pretty much on the spot. So I can use that as a dolly of sorts. Except of course. Another advantage is while it, it's uh, clamped down I can also straighten it so from here I can see it perfectly along here. And just get it nice and nice and straight at the same time. There we go. 
it's actually not bad so I just got to sort out these corners so I'll work out what to do there Actually, yeah. it doesn't seem too terrible. Filing these bits down, and then um, I'll use the soft disk again to try and see how how good I can clean it up. Okay, so the next bit is to I've got this white LED strip, just four mils, which is even narrower than I need, which is fine. Go. Yep, sweet, pretty good. And I needed it white because, of course, I want to show up. You know the correct colors of the of the printout and everything. So, so I figured I better put this on top to kind of protect it a bit. Probably good enough. At least it's protected. All right, so I've connected the LEDs. Um, the ground is actually I'm using is the actual frame. And let's just see if it works. Actually, it's not bad. Cool. So there we are. Uh, the cylinder's done, and the frame. The cool thing is, is you only see it when you come from from the side. But when you're looking at it straight on, that sort of part there covers it, so it actually looks in line with the with the game itself. All right, so it's been nearly two weeks, but the pictures are finally here, the printout for the frame, so I figured I better not just use an old, you know, standard sort of printer and paper for it. I actually got it printed. Y'all probably having a laugh when they printed three copies of the same thing and they saw it was a YouTube comment, but whatever. actually not bad so the size of the inner part of the frame is 55 by 85 mil actually I better triple check that before I start cutting but I did get three of them just in case I screw one up <laughs> actually I think it'd be pretty funny if I uh, got got the comment printed on a mug in fact you know what for um, like Christmas, I might ask if my wife wants to uh, do that. It'd be pretty epic to have that on a on a mug. Actually, no, that's it. I'm doing that for sure. This is it. I'm gonna have this on a mug. It'll. Uh, it's quite a special occasion, you know. May not be to some, but to me, this is uh, an absolute one of the achievements. Bit of a. 3M double sided tape, but I'll probably just do it in the middle. And there it is. Looks pretty good, I think. Alright, thanks for watching.